All right, that was back in the room, so we can get started. And uh, Kevin Batchelor is going to talk about the ECMPS re-engineering effort. Uh, I have no idea what this is. So this is a new information. All right. Awesome. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> so, um, so the ECMPS re-engineering effort. Um, this is a uh, slated for 15 minutes, and uh, I take more than five minutes. Uh, I'll be talking a lot. So. Uh, the basic idea of the ECMPS re-engineering effort is EPA is going to redo, rewrite, re-engineer, whatever you want to call it, the client tool. Um, so the client tool that we all love and hate right now is, now I'm all back. Uh, uh, the client tool that we all love and hate is going to be converted into a browser-based application. So EPA is moving the client tool into the cloud. So it's going to be a, a totally browser-based online uh, application instead of the, the current desktop installed application that we use for the whole database. Um, current client tool is going away. Why are they doing this? Because they just you know they just wrote the client tool here. 2007, 2008, somewhere around there. It just you know, it seems like it wasn't that long ago. What EPA has said that I've heard so far is they don't like doing tech support. And about half the calls that KMD gets from users is installation problems, local database problems, shared database problems, and it uh, sounds like KMD is basically sick of hiring being tech support. So it comes down to their productivity and their budget. That sounds that sound like the primary driver of this. It's not you, it's not me, it's not us, it's them. Um, so they're proposing to change our current XML or their current XML file format to JSON. It's very similar, only different. Uh, CPA claims that they're not changing any data elements. Believe that? Believe that? <laughs> um, obviously, we're going to have to update Breeze uh, 75. All the other vendors are going to have to update all their packages. Um, one thing that if they do go to a browser based system, it won't be possible to use this offline. Uh, I don't know how they're going to address that because, like right now, you know, the, you know we get these emails for. Client tool is going to be offline, you can't use it online for this weekend, a few days, while they do their quarterly updates. Um, I mean, if right now, we still have to have internet access to submit, so it's not like that's a huge difference, because the machine still has to have internet access, but I mean, there, there's definitely going to be some changes there. Uh, questions, concerns? Um, some users have brought up concerns about EPA being able to see pre-submittal data. Because right now on your on your uh, desktop app, EPA sees nothing until you submit that. Some users are concerned about about that. I don't have a dog in this fight. If you think it's a significant issue, say something to EPA uh, when when they ask questions. Uh, a question I haven't heard an answer to yet is if you have multiple users, like I know many of you do who have like environmental, uh, corporate level environmental folks in a shared database, can multiple users see the same pre-submittal data before it's submitted? EPA hasn't answered that question yet. Uh, my next question for EPA, and I have no idea what they're thinking here, is what's their transition plan? Maybe they're not far enough along this path to have a transition plan. I do remember back when we converted from the old flat file stuff to the current XML that it was four quarters, maybe five quarters, but it was a long transition. Um, so I'm hoping EPA is, is going to draw this out for a few quarters and not just drop a hard deadline on us and we're all going to convert all at the same time. When are you thinking conversion can start? 
Uh, that's a good question. Um, at one point, the EPA mentioned 2023, but that was a while back. So I'll give you my best my best answer for that here in a second. Sure, sorry. Um, so the, uh, the only thing I would mention on the transition plan is uh, assuming they give us multiple quarters like they did the last time this happened, um, it was several quarters and you know people could basically if you wanted to be on the bleeding edge you could sign up for the first quarter and then a few more people signed up the next quarter and then a whole bunch signed up and then finally the last quarter everybody else uh, converted over so uh, i still remember when, when we went through this conversion the last time it was in july and we had a site call us we had breeze almost ready not quite and a site called us in the middle of July and said, oops, we um, didn't need to, but we signed up for the ABC MPS system. Can you help us get this turned in? So it was a scramble, but we did it. We did it, we got it in, and yeah. So anyway, if you can, try not to unintentionally sign up to be one of the bleeding edge users. <laughs> Yes, there's a question. Um, Brian is saying that the last that he heard from the EPA, they are switching everyone 2023 Q1, no transition period. 2023 Q1, no transition period is the last he's heard. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, possible date, 2023, there we go. Um, if you want to know more, one week from today, at 1 o'clock Eastern Time, uh, EPA is holding their quarterly or whatever it is. Uh, Kevin, that's our birthday. That is, you're right. Kevin, that's our birthday. birthday. I can't think of anything I'd rather do on my birthday than listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> So EPA has posted the webinar sign-up details. There's the the, the website, ecmps.candysupport.com. Go out there, find the, you don't have to even sign up for it. They just posted the, I think it's a team meeting or something. So you now know everything I know about this topic. If you have any questions, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> there we go. Thanks. That is the best thing you can do on your birthday. I already don't have money to Yeah, that's the ECMPS effort. I'm not sure what that amounts to, but uh, it, it's always a change. It's always a challenge whenever uh, they switch out. Because, you know, it's not going to be right the first time on their end, let alone our end. We'll do everything we can, but I remember the last time it was a there were more errors on their end than there were on ours. We we were fixing their problems more than they were fixing ours. So uh, <laughs> informing them of their problems, that's better than putting it. So and I love their answer though. They didn't want to do customer support. Yeah. 